Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am here with some vacation photos. We went to Castle Noel, which is near Cleveland, Ohio. Brandy from Geek Meets Eats and Ma Lane joined us. We got to see this really cool clock. That'll be the first thing you guys see right here. I thought that was pretty neat. They weren't even sure it was going to work again. And as we walked through, there were many other things. This right here was just a mass amount of toys just mounded along there. Um, I believe I have some additional videos if they're not attached here. That is actually the trailer from uh, Christmas Vacation. The shitter's full. Nutcracker, this mouse right here, he actually has a bird's nest in his mouth. This was to teleport us. Coming out on the other end, we're supposed to feel more like children. A lot of these are like old Macy displays or... Things that have been on display before, still would like people to see the beautiful artistry of it. But it's also a great place to pull open all the boxes and put parts so that when you're looking for something you're able to find you can scan through these ships thank, thank you thank you thank you but it would be fun to make them all move yes it would yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. thank you yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> like no just like oh, yeah. Yeah. no it's not like a little bit of Josephine Bay yeah I got this young man down here in the end, this is the back of that beautiful clock y'all saw in the entryway. And a little bit different view up here. And it says Lord Taylor, Window 5, 2015. And I might have to do it twice. We'll get you gathered around and I'll play this for you. These are just some of the still pictures that I added in. Got these beautiful pieces in here. One more on your right coming through the door. This is another piece of the Diker Heights display that you saw at the end of the Blizzard Vortex. Oh, I had to throw Donald Duck in for BK Phipps. Take a look, Christina, there he was. Windows, they're really, really cool. And we have a virtual reality Santa sleigh ride for everybody this year. You'll have the opportunity to go ride on later in the season, and we're going to use those incredible window displays of all the control centers and robots and things in Santa's workshop to help uh, beam out that new sleigh ride. Did you see when you when you get having a good time? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's good. really great. Thank you. Look at the dolls. Like, no, 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 no. I said a lot of these are from Macy Windows in New York. They normally put these up one year and then that's it. They get trashed they, after the end of the year and they destroy them because they don't want people selling them on eBay. But uh, he's kind of worked it out with them to be able to get some of this stuff. But they don't come with manuals. It's like, good luck, put it together. But some of it's so amazing. They do all of this for one, one year, one Christmas. I said a lot of this is just video clips and pictures that I put together so you guys could see some of what we saw. You ever head out to uh, 
Cleveland there, besides hitting the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you can swing by here and check this out. It was fun. We enjoyed it. Blake slides real ones. No two the same. Done by Mark Claus. And you'll closely in the reflection. You'll see it, uh, it's a different color. It's on the bottom. Come on in, guys. There's no right or wrong way to go around the room. Here, you might run into yourself in here. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, coming in right now. This is Christmas in New York in the center. Christmas in Paris back left. Back right is Christmas in China. Over here by the exit sign is Christmas in London. Right here, we'll be back in just a moment for you guys. It's Christmas in Italy. There's Santa Rudolph in the garden over there. Yeah, with their brown bags. That, yep, that's all the bar shopping done at Bloomingdale's there. She been called that. So <laughs> this is. <laughs> What's that? I did. You shot your caboose. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, oh, these are just some other photos that were added in as we walked down some of the hallways with the different displays. They had a lot of cool things. Tried to take as many photos. Some of these are celebrity. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys, come on in. Welcome to the Grand Hall. <laughs> it's Santa Claus. As you walk in, you're going to see the tent. Right next to that is that big pink guy. That's his trusty sidekick, Booster. But no child in the movie. One of the Booster action. It's from the end. They have Turbo Man, which is down in the case there. Yeah, see, so he's back, back there. Here, see? Guys, here they are singing for you, our singing penguins. And of course, in the middle of the singing. And there's some more from the Grinch. This was a really cool place, and uh, I believe it was Caitlin told us because Umpty told her, if I remember correctly. The penguins, that is the full size animatronic reindeer comet from the Santa Claus films. If you remember Comet, he was the one that ate all the candy, he got real fat, couldn't fly, got a little gassy. That's that guy right there. That is, uh, uh, Jack, who's a motorcycle, and he's going to the bridge. If you look on top of Santa Claus Mountain, you'll see the Christmas dog axe. Santa Claus Mountain. That's one big tree. They were actually seven different homes after the film with the cast and crew. Yes, this is the garbage chute used to And here he is, guys. This is the Grinch. If you look closely, you might even see some turbines in a smile. <laughs> And right next to the That is the ring that the mayor used to propose to Martha May Hoopier in the film. 
isn't real. Black. Yeah, down. it does. Inspector Commander. <laughs> the elf up there kicked them both down. 